hopefully no more than 30 of the 5,200 ever come at one time and want to walk on the treadmill or we wouldn't be able to do the business. The number, the law of averages is that most people will never come and of the ones that do, only a small percent are ever gonna like get buff and skinny. That's the gym business. Some of y'all are trainers, am I lying? No. No, it wouldn't work. The business would, there'd be lines of people down the street, but that's the world we're in. People try stuff and they quit. Why is this different? We're different. Our product's different. And also, one of the questions Brian asked me when we started, he goes, do you, do you like our product? I go, it's unbelievable. I said, it's a thing I've been looking for in my career. And he goes, is there one thing that you could suggest that we need that to make this really go somewhere? And I just said, community. I mean, because if you're in the fitness industry, as soon as your client leaves you or is no longer in that community, they fall back to where they are. They go back to their old community, which is what put them in that place. So, you know, if you had a good experience on this, then create that community around you so that you guys can stay together. And within a company, we create, I mean, Florida right in this area has a one, I think probably the best community in the entire company. And, and you guys work together, stay together, and it'll just keep moving in that direction and we can go through the nation. And then our company itself is established these amazing events that we've, we've already had and, uh, and we'll keep driving that worldwide. And I got so many things I would wanna say. So first of all, that's the last slide that's on the, uh, any of y'all know Rob DeVore? Yeah. Let's give Rob a hand, he's not here. Yeah. So we built the seminar like a couple hours ago. A little rush. <laughs> and you know it's rush from the one note. Anybody else know it was rush from like the, <laughs> am I old? Yeah. I'll be fine, that's old. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Old is the new young. But, uh, but yeah. one thing that, I, I hope y'all get kind of the spirit of this conversation. If you do nothing else other than go investigate, congratulations. Yeah. Any skeptics in the room? Like generally you're skeptical by nature? Please don't lie. For real. Some of y'all are being skeptical about whether you'll even participate right now. <laughs> be, be cautiously optimistic. Borderline skeptical, don't be closed minded. I'm, I'm cool with cautiously optimistic because you can go online and dig in and get educated as to what this is and why it's so powerful. And for those of you, we hope everybody can A, stay the rest of the time. We're going to spend a little bit more time. We're going to bring Brian up to the stage in just a second. He's the brainchild behind taking all the research that's been done, a lot of it in different labs and different cities and different countries, and say, you know what? I bet we could make a product about this. People been in and out of the ketogenic lifestyle for a hundred years or more. Jesus and his buddies, do you think they had Starbucks on every corner? Do you think they were like full all the time? No. Nah. What do you say about the pyramids? <laughs> I said if uh, the Egyptian had to eat six meals a day, that they'd be still be able to build the <laughs> Y'all can skip that. But the neat thing is to watch this thing come together, to watch it come alive, and then to inspire people to go, you know what, I'm gonna dig in. I'm gonna learn stuff. I wanna completely do a 180 in my life. And this product can be a big time catalyst for that. So I don't know why everybody came here tonight. I really don't. I don't know what you want out of your life. We don't know what inspires you, but we know you're inspired enough and motivated enough to come spend a little bit of time with us on a, what's the day, Friday? Right. Friday night to learn some things. And something that I learned from every single day, and I'm glad you're back in the room, you just outside for a minute. I'm like, dude, you just left. Um, somebody I learned from every single day, and I'm super happy that he didn't judge me because I was judging me. I'm glad he didn't judge me because I, I was, I, I looked like a different guy and I promise you I felt way worse than I looked and I did not look that good. Today I stand in front of me as a totally different guy with a gnarly, exciting, very vast education base on how this works. And it's because a bunch of people, but like these two people didn't judge me and they said, you know what, I have something I want you to learn about. And I was one of the first people, along with several others in the room, I feel like we yelled several others, that Brian said, hey, we wanna put something together, tell me what you think. And I'm appreciative of that. Uh, we have a 15 month old at home, and she eats different food as a baby because we've learned all this stuff. She's not eating cinnamon toast crunch, that's what I ate. we totally changed the trajectory of my family because these two guys invested time in me. So I don't know anybody else that uh, should come up now and kind of just talk about where we're going, what this weekend's all about, and then uh, our CEO and founder, Brian Underwood. So yeah. don't give her a hand.
How is everybody? I don't know what else I can say much more than you are said. Let's talk about how good looking we are. <laughs> um, get a quick show of hands. Uh, well, first of all, give them a huge round of applause. The other thing is give yourselves a huge round of applause. Um, I was pretty amazed. How many people came from outside of the Tampa area? Just raise your hands. That's pretty amazing. Um, I'm just curious, you know, a mentor of mine told me a long time ago, 90% of life is just showing up. And um, obviously you guys showed up this weekend, but I'm curious, what made some of you come from, who came from the farthest away, just out of curiosity? New York. New York? Yeah. Where? Yeah. Colorado. Oh, wow. I'm sorry. Northeast PA. Northeast PA. Maine. West Virginia? Maine. 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 Connecticut. Kentucky? <laughs> Connecticut? Colorado. Oklahoma City. Girls. Car. Wow. <laughs> Oklahoma City. You guys are crazy. So, first of all, why did, does anybody want to share why you came? My wife made me. Love it. My wife made me. <laughs> Excellent. My wife made me too. She stayed at home though. I don't know what that means. Um, Yes, ma'am. Tired of working for another corporation and making them money and not myself. Tired of working for another corporation. It's like a big corporation. And where did you, where did you come from? I know you came from heaven, I'm saying. But <laughs> where did you come to Tampa from? Gainesville, Florida. Gainesville, Florida. Gainesville, Florida. Florida. incredible this company has really blessed me um, in October the 27th of last year my doctor told me that I was going to die <clears throat> I had 10 what he called grandma strokes what I call mini strokes and he said that I was so fat that if I didn't lose fat I was going to die Pair the end. my fat in my belly was crowding my heart and my lungs and there was no way that the next one coming could be the big one and could take me out I put on Facebook that I guess I was headed downhill, going to my grave. No way I could lose weight. I tried everything there was, every diet, every fad, everything you can imagine. Could not lose weight. I enjoyed eating way too much. A friend of mine from Edmond, Oklahoma, she seen it on Facebook, and she immediately came to my house and she said, Andy, want you to try this. I said, what is it? She said, well, it's not exactly a weight loss program. It helps people lose fat, but it does amazing things. You just need to shut up and drink it. And I thought, okay. I took a drink of it. As Dan says, orange dream sickle. I love orange dream sickle. It tastes beautiful. I like it. <clears throat> I drank it. I drank two a day from that day on. In five days, I lost 12 pounds. The next two days, I had no product at all. It was like I was off my cocaine habit. <laughs> it was crazy. I finally got more product. I got more product. I took two a day every day since, sometimes three a day now. And um, the night we went to Dallas for the first little mixture down there to see the Trill Labs, I took five that day because they can't feed them to me all night though. <laughs> I love it. I love it. But in, in, I'm trying to make this real short because it's not my show, I'm saying that, but in 15 weeks I've lost 85 pounds. Woo! 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 In my waistline, 10 inches on my belt. And that's for real, no life. After 12 weeks, my doctor took me off my blood pressure medicine. He took me off my sugar medicine. He took me off my ibuprofen. Which, those of you who do not know, ibuprofen is dangerous. Yeah. I don't know if anybody knows that. You can yeah. study it. Yeah. I was taking between 100 and 120 ibuprofen every month, 800 milligrams prescribed by the doctor. I have not taken an ibuprofen not one time since in 15 weeks, no headaches, and I'm not taking a single one in 15 weeks. In 12 weeks, my doctor started taking the product himself. Ah. <laughs> After, after 10 weeks, he said, I can't believe this is doing what it's doing. He 
He said, I'm going to start studying about this. I may take it myself. I'm like, whoa, 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 wait. Shouldn't you have studied this before I start taking it? <laughs> <laughs> so his, his answer was, yes, I, I, I knew this wouldn't be dangerous. I knew there was nothing here to hurt you. I didn't know I would do this. But my leg cramps are gone. I'm off of oxygen. I don't sleep on my sleep at me. I sleep all night long. Every sleep, my varicose veins are almost gone. I don't hurt like I used to hurt. I don't dread getting out of bed first thing in the morning. I run a tow truck service in Oklahoma City, temporarily. I say temporarily because this is going to be my full-time gig soon. But I run a tow truck service. I bend and kneel and hook hooks and, and change tires and do all that stuff every day. And I hurt every day of my entire life. This company has gave me more energy, more hope, more light into the tunnel, and the desire to change people's lives. Would you all say he's passionate about what he's doing? So, this one of the number one number one questions that we get asked is, you know, why did we start this company? And I'd love to tell you because we're experts in what we do, but uh, that's not the case. Is you know, and the reason why we're taking it to market through people is because with this conversation, it's the only way to really help educate the marketplace on what it is that we're doing or what ketones are. And the best way to do that is through experiences. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah. So back 14 months ago when we kind of started on this journey and we started developing Keto OS, if we would have just put it into Whole Foods or GNC or Walmart or Target, nobody would have known what it was when they went there. Would you guys agree? Yes or no? Yeah. But now what we did is we just started with a handful of people. And we said, you know what? Try the product and see how you feel. Because here's the one thing that I understand about every single person in this room. It doesn't matter if you're from Oklahoma City or if you're from California or Kentucky or gnarly is a California word, by the way. Yes, you can yes. steal that word. And so um, everybody wants better. Would you guys agree with me, yes or no? Yeah. People want to feel better today. I think more than ever. You know, people's awareness of their health, I think, is at an all-time high, and I think it's continuing to move forward. And so that's what we became passionate about. We actually, you know, started with the name Proven because of a good friend of mine, Rob DeBoer. How many people have met Rob? Excellent. Um, he had a, a shirt on that said Proven. And I went up to Rob, he's at my house, he was flipping pancakes, and I was like, that's a cool shirt, what's it mean? He said exactly what Mike would have said to you. I said, you know, Brian, you say you want to lose weight, that's great, prove it. Say you want to run a marathon, that's great, prove it. And I was like, that's really cool. And he's like, yeah, I want to start an apparel line with it. And I said, well, let's do it. And so the inspiration behind the name started before we ever even knew the product. A lot of people think that we name the company because when you drink our product, we can prove that it's doing something in your body's biochemistry in 59 minutes or less through a blood test or a urine test. But the reality of it is, is we wanted to start a brand that could transcend the marketplace, where we could build a community around a brand that inspired other people to be better, right? To be the best version of themselves. And the best way to inspire others, and that's your it, right? And to prove means to demonstrate real or to manifest. That's the dictionary, Wikipedia, to demonstrate real or to manifest. So if you're in the pursuit of your dreams, if you're in the pursuit of your it, just by being in the pursuit is when you inspire other people to go for it as well. Does that make sense to everybody? And so that's what inspired the name of the, the product. Um, so we had the name, we knew that we wanted to start a brand, and then the next question was, you know, we wanted to do something unique or different. We didn't want to just package the same thing and create a different story around it. And that's when this ketone conversation came to us and the ability to inspire to develop a product that could help people be better. And so when we started developing it, it was pretty amazing because my business partner had played around with it for 14 or 15 months ago and couldn't get it to work. He said, it's taste awful, it's gag reflux. He took it over to China, he took it over to China. The Chinese drank it, they threw up, they all had GI issues, and they're like, this isn't gonna work. <laughs> and, um, and I knew about it, he, he kind of shared with it, uh, shared with me what he was doing, because when I thought of ketosis, the only thing that I thought of 
was weight loss. How many people can, can relate? Because I tried the Atkins diet before and I tried to pee on that little strip and I could never get it to turn purple. And so my thought press, uh, process was really simple. I looked at it from a marketing perspective and I said, if someone can take a supplement and they can pee purple on a stick within 59 minutes, then this thing's gonna be huge. This is gonna be the greatest weight loss product in the world. That was my initial thought process. But then I started asking myself the question, is there something more to it? Is this real? What does it actually do or doesn't do? Because I had no clue. And that was kind of Pandora's box. And I think this weekend is gonna be exciting for all of us. Um, because one of the things that we wanna do is we wanna sponsor and inspire this education. It's called educational marketing. And so we wanna start these keto life events, these keto academies that don't have anything to do with really the Prove It brand. Prove It's gonna sponsor them. But we wanna bring in thought leaders that have really dedicated all of their passion you know, to the reality and this understanding and advance it to the world. And I think that that is a, a privilege that we've all been given. And I think that, you know, that's become a lot more passionate because you hear stories to the point where, you know, when we first started getting the product out in the marketplace, it started, you know, it was amazing because we didn't do a lot of marketing. We didn't do a lot, a lot of heavy handed sales. We really understated, but it started going viral because of what people were experiencing and feeling. And we had people that they would show pictures of before and after and they'd have sores on their legs and then after like 12 days on the product, the sores would be gone. And I don't know if you remember Angela, I sent you the picture and I was like, is this possible? Cause I'm hitting my wife, I'm like, is this snake oil? Like, I mean, is this like placebo? Is this really possible? What is this? What isn't this? And so um, it's been a great journey so far. And what's amazing is that you know, since September 1, we've done over 5 million circuits in the marketplace. And I would love, you know, I think any of us to be able to take credit for it. But the credit really is the technology and, and really what it's doing in the marketplace. And that's why it's really going viral. And it's creating a community around it. And, um, and so we feel blessed and privileged and we think tomorrow's going to be an exciting event. So I want to introduce you to a couple people um, that are going to be speaking tomorrow. Uh, I'm not going to look like they go on the spot or anything else, but, uh, and they're actually helping us as well. Um, Angela Poff, raise your hand, say hello. Um, <laughs> Dr. Angela Poff, she's been a blessing. I'm probably like, like just driven her crazy, especially when we first got started, I would text her and I'm like, is it not asking all these crazy questions and send her a bunch of emails? It, it's gotten better though, right? Gotten better. Because I was trying to understand why. Just amazing. <laughs> She's introduced us to uh, two individuals you're going to hear from, and then Dr. Don, if you'd raise your hand. Everybody knows that. Yeah. Um, you know, really inspired this product along with a lot of ketone products that are in the marketplace, and you're going to be able to hear from them tomorrow, uh, talk about, you know, the science of ketones and talk about some of the applications that ketones and ketosis towards cancer. And then, um, and then Angela introduced us to two individuals, uh, Dr. Jacob Wilson and Ryan Lowry. If you guys could come up here real quick. I told him I was going to run up here so I can put them on the spot a little bit. I didn't feel comfortable putting you guys on the spot. Um, but, Dr. Jacob, say hello to everybody. <laughs> so, so, I'm going to share with everyone, you know, one of the things that we're passionate about doing and we were talking up in the room earlier is that we want to continue to move the conversation forward and this technology is so new and so young there's so many things that we're learning and we're learning through your experiences but we want to take the product and make it better and better and better and so we're just at the beginning but not only just this product but if this is an operating system what else can we combine with the operating system to really create human optimization right and so there's so many different applications for this as a tool or a product. Um, and these two individuals who Angela introduces to and, and Dr. Don introduces to um, have been helping us with, you know, optimizing the product and, and helping educate. I mean, has anybody been on any of their periscopes, yes or no? <laughs> so you guys share with everyone a little bit about what you're going to be talking about tomorrow and some of the things that we're going to Absolutely. Um, you know, first off, it's great to be here. Like, hi everyone. It's awesome. Uh, we're really excited and passionate about this topic. Um, I know Dom is and Angela. And uh, actually, you know, when I was talking to Michael today, when we were having a, 
uh, Delights ice cream, which by the way is low carb ice cream. <laughs> Two grams of carbs a serving, and it tastes awesome. But so if you're in Tampa, have you had that done? Yeah. Okay, really good. If you're in Tampa, like you have to. Go. Um, it's like blue at ten minutes away. It's on Dale Mabry. Yeah. It's delicious at Ginger Lemon. <laughs> well, literally Ginger Lemon. Um, and we tested, we actually stay in ketosis. <laughs> so, anyway, um, what was real exciting in our conversation is that you guys are the first people that basically are really taking kind of what we do in the lab, and we're spending like all day in the lab on this stuff. Um, and I know like Dom and Angela literally spent years dedicated to this stuff. You guys are the first people who are actually taking this stuff throughout the day, like actually, you know, maintaining nutritional ketosis with exogenous ketones, like throughout the whole day, like on this massive of a scale. Like how many servings? Five million? I mean, this is this is really cool to us, like especially as a scientist, it's fascinating. Um, when I asked Michael how many servings you gonna have or you have a day he's like well I have five servings like every day sometimes seven <laughs> oh, wait, sometimes come, yeah what you come in the lab you know this is really cool stuff so anyway one of the things that we're um, I'm talking about tomorrow is what are some of the um, impacts of exogenous ketones like on body composition basically the keto lifestyle what's the impact of the keto lifestyle on body composition in general and then what role do exogenous ketones have on that um, and, you know, so we think that's really cool. We've been working a lot, um, we've been talking a lot with Brian actually about this Keto Academy. Um, when we came actually from um, Las Vegas, because I didn't realize this, normally I'll speak in a scientific conference, everything's like calm, people just kind of clap their hands like that. <laughs> you know, people were jumping up and down, and, and anyway, so <laughs> and I got really pumped up, and I was like, you know what, this is cool, like people need to see, hear about the keto lifestyle on a larger scale, right? Like, because it has so many benefits, like you see the research that's being done, and it's astounding. And so, and we talked with Brian, and we're like, you know, Together, we thought that we said, really, we should start like a keto um, academy. Um, and so Brian coined the term keto academy, which is pretty cool. So that's kind of what I think is really cool is bringing in some of these top experts together and talking about this stuff. Other things we've been talking about with these guys and, uh, and Brian is gut health. Um, who is at the Las Vegas meeting? Okay, so you guys. Um, so one of the things we're growing in is gut health. The thing that happens a lot of times when people do ketogenic dieting, they think it's just bacon and burgers, but which is awesome. But <laughs> a really so well formulated ketogenic <laughs> diet, it also has to take into account things like fiber, right? So you're having vegetables, um, you know, like you know, asparagus or broccoli or lots of salads, because that feeds the gut. But also there's things that also feed the, the good bacteria, like prebiotics, um, and of course, seeding them with things like probiotics. And so there's a lot of really new technologies that um, I know these guys are coming out with that's huge, um, like actual prebiotics that are like new on the market, that actually go and selectively target like the, um, the deleterious or the bad bacteria, kill them, and then their nutrients serve to feed good bacteria. Whereas normally when you take prebiotics, you get like bloating, uh, and that's a big problem. Uh, this, these new forms of prebiotics are actually a higher level of technology. And so that's very, very important when you're doing the keto lifestyle and it fits into the whole, the whole system. Um, so those are some of the things that we'll be talking about. We'll pass it to Ryan and, and let him talk about what he's gonna speak on. Yeah, so, so tomorrow I'm gonna be talking about um, kind of programming your metabolism. Like everyone talks about, we know the benefits of fasting, right? We've, we've talked about, and we, I'm sure you guys know, fasting can have a lot of health benefits, but can you actually have like a fat fast? With, like I know you guys have the keto cream and, and keto OS. Can that actually help you program your metabolism to use certain substrates or certain fuels the rest of the day? Um, so that's kind of what I'm going to be going into, kind of the whole breakfast paradigm, like do you need it, what should you have, how should it be formulated, etc. And one of the things that we were talking about before as well, that's really, really awesome and, and, and why this is phenomenal, it's, it's great that we've gotten to know Brian and, and know you guys, is 
is the research aspect that you guys are putting into it. We talked about Keto Academy, which is phenomenal. I mean, the more education, the more things that can be put out to the public is, is, is great. So the research aspect is that Prove it's really going above and beyond and, and putting a ton of dollars into research. And we were talking today about a lot of different pro protocols, some different studies that are literally being done on the product, on ingredients in the product, all over the country, right? Which is a huge, huge advantage and a, and a unique aspect because no one's really willing to do that. Um, and no one's really doing a lot of that in human, human data now, right? So that's gonna be some of the first human data with ketones will be coming out hopefully by the May by the May event, and you guys will be some of the first ones to see that and, and be able to experience that and learn, just like we're learning every single day in the lab. Right? Yeah. Well, yeah. Do you guys, will you all share what you are going to be talking about tomorrow?
this growth and studying ketones. And the military, they were interested in the ketogenic diet, but they really wanted the ketogenic diet more or less in a deal. You know, uh, and now, because they didn't really understand the benefits of the ketogenic diet as it pertained to performance, and now I've been educating them a little bit on that, so now they're interested in the ketogenic diet and the exogenous ketogenic diet. So I'm gonna talk about that a little bit. I'll start my talk off talking about the ketogenic diet and then transition into our work with exogenous ketones. Awesome. Wow. <laughs> One of the things that um, I, I went with a couple months ago, or about a month ago, we went to dinner, and one of the things that I was uh, telling Angela and Dom is just how many incredible experiences that we're getting and getting feedback. And um, I don't want it to look too cheesy, but I'd love to, if you guys would, because I know that there's a lot of stories in here, I just kind of want them to hear some from you guys, since we got to hear from them, what they're going to share with us. Um, some of the stories, uh, you know, for instance, like Dom, I know you have an incredible story. Uh, but I'd love just to do three or four different shares for for them as they're here as, as guests tonight um, on what you know, keep, what your experience has been, you know, since you've been using Zashin's Ketone. So thank you guys for sharing it as well. Give them a huge round of applause. Yeah. So who wants to share? probably think that my story is not as common as some of yours, but um, but uh, I've been a health coach and personal trainer for a long time. I was over 80 pounds overweight at one time. It was a long time ago when my child was small. I knew I needed to feed myself better for her sake. So of course I changed my diet into exercise. But I suffered from uh, insulin resistance. I had body pain from my neck to my knees every single day from the time I was 20. By the time I was 35, even though I was a trainer and I was having to perform as a job, uh, it was very hard. I was sore all the time, I was tired all the time, I had chronic fatigue, I actually almost lost a job over it, and then the digestive issues started. Um, I had to run to the bathroom every few minutes, gas bloating, I didn't need to go into the whole thing, but I had uh, irritable bowel syndrome. So as a trainer, you have to listen to your clients when they say to you, hey, I want to do this Atkins diet, what do you think? You get asked what you think about everything. So I said, you know what? I'll take one for the team. Let me try it. So I did. My mom was on it, everybody I knew was on it. Well, at that time, and I had a doctor, I don't know if anybody knows Dr. Peter Glidden, but he was actually, he's a naturopath, and he's pretty famous now, but he was my doctor, he said, I think you might be gluten intolerant, you're gonna to need to remove some food, we have to figure out what's wrong with you. So at the same time, the Atkins diet seemed like it was a um, perfect fit, except the only things I knew that I could eat without pain were meat and fruit. So now you're telling me you're gonna take away my fruit. So I said, well, okay, again, let me try it. So I tried it, I did add some fats, but not enough, I thought it was a high protein diet. Years later, I would become the director of franchise operations for a company called Metafast Weight Loss Centers. So I would be introduced to the ketogenic diet again. Well, the ketogenic diet again, for me, that um, philosophy of MedFast just supported high protein and low carb. So I still didn't really get it. I have a website, I'm a health coach, I'm a geek. So I am going to research everything on everything because I need to know that's just me. So I started to learn more about how, um, and probably thanks to some people's research in this room, I started to learn more about, it's not about high protein, it's about high fat. To this day, I am still insulin resistant, and when I tried this product, it was the first time in over 35 years that I actually showed pink on a stick. I never did before because my glucose tolerance level is basically zero. So technically, I'm probably still in, close to being you know, a diabetic because I, I think I screwed my body up for all those years. Um, but it's just been wonderful for me because now I don't have to eat every two to three hours. Um, I, I have had a ketogenic lifestyle for a long time, but I have to stay really, really low. So this really just helps me stay where I need to be, to feel the way I need to feel. And uh, it's, been, it's been great. I'm super pumped. <laughs> Share with me. Okay, I don't know where to 
big again. It's actually a pretty, pretty awesome. Uh, my name is Tom Tischer. Uh, so my story is pretty long, so I'm going to try and take it down to bite-sized pieces. I was medically retired from the Army after being wounded in combat a couple times. So they figured since I was a trigger for I was no good to do that anymore, so they put me out. Had a traumatic brain injury, severe back injuries, uh, severe PTSD, had all these things going on with me. So the Army said, hey, you're no good to us anymore. So I retired, uh, went home, you know, sucked on my thumb, things got worse. I couldn't remember things very well. My short-term memory was very short. If I had a conversation with you, I wouldn't remember it five minutes later. So my wife, right back there, Heather, uh, she's my caregiver. Um, and she would be everywhere with me. When I first met Brian, he probably didn't see me away from, from Heather at all. Uh, I couldn't drive, couldn't remember. Uh, red lights meant go. Green lights meant, oh, I think I'll stop. Um, so it was a bunch of different things. I was on, I was on a bunch of stuff for pain. Uh, so Brian came to me. It was like two o'clock in the morning. He sent me a video of Dr. Dom, uh, the TED Talk saying, and, and I'm texting him like, "Dude, that's pretty cool. I don't have the answer." <laughs> <laughs> He, he had some of the product, he's like, hey, I want you to try this, right? I really want you to take it, and I, I even gave it back a couple times. I'm like, oh, here, give it to somebody else. Yeah. He's like, no, really, take it. Took it the next day, I had more energy than I had in years, right? Because usually I act like it was a full-time job, I took pride in it. <laughs> um, I, I'm telling you, I stood down, I put on my CPAP, I was done. Uh, so I, I had a lot of energy, mental focus, stuff that I hadn't had in years. Uh, and I even called Brian, I think it was that night or the next morning, I'm like, dude, it's placebo. <laughs> He's like, just take it the next day. And I'm like, okay, but I'm gonna be really cognizant of things, I'm gonna really nitpick at it. And I, I couldn't find anything. Three, four days later, my wife asked me, hey, have you taken your migraine meds? <laughs> I don't remember. <laughs> right? have, you, have you been taking your vitamin? No, actually, I've been missing that. So I didn't have the pain. I was more functioning, right? So if somebody was taking all that ibuprofen, I did that with vitamin twice out of a month for years. Um, so things changed rather rapidly with me. As a matter of fact, the first time I'd driven by myself to Louisville was to pick up Dustin Schaefer a couple weeks ago. And that's four years since I've been driving because I just couldn't remember. So it was pretty big, it was pretty. I mean, so that's, I used to walk with a cane. I was like a pimp. <laughs> uh, so I did all this stuff. So, and, and Brian, you know, I've grown to love the man. <laughs> but he came to me for, for one thing, and, but he didn't see everything that was going on with me. Because he would come by for a little while, he'd leave, I'd leave it. And I go about my day. Nobody saw that. I never left the house. So it's, it's been life changing for me. So that's that's enough of my story. If you want it, uh, I'll write a book. <laughs> Any, anyone else that has a short story that they want to share really quick? I know that we've been in here quite a bit of time. And, I mean, we can go on and on and on and on, right? With with the amount of stories. Um, just do one more. I don't think I've met you before, have I? I'm Brian. You're from Miami? Okay, see? Okay. It's going to be short. Okay, now. Okay.
time of six and a half years it took me to lose 160. And I still had to get up like that from everything. My daughter would help me. I was on an apnea. I tremble because I'm very nervous and it's been a journey. And um, I was on an apnea monitor so I could sleep, but my daughter wouldn't sleep. My daughter would go to college. She fell asleep on a red light and the lady behind her knocked on her window because she, had, she was still stopped. That's when I took a decision. Now, Keto West came to my life in October and I walked 84 blocks, five and a half miles. It took me four hours, but I couldn't walk to my mailbox. Success is about the journey, right? It's who we become in the process and what we're able to get back. And so, you know, I appreciate it. each and every one of you that have had faith that you've showed up here, um, you know, and, and in the spirit of better that we are impacting other people's lives. And as a company, that's our commitment is just to continue to move the ball forward. And it's not about how much product we can sell because I think people don't want to be sold something. But if we can get great experiences, we can inspire other people just to be better, you know, or to go for it. And that's really what it is. So you guys are inspiring a lot of people each and every day. I know tomorrow we'll hear from a lot more of you. And, and um, there's just a lot of incredible people in our community. So I appreciate each and every one of you coming out. Appreciate everything that you guys are going to give tomorrow. And that's what it's really about. I know that I'm just excited to hear. You guys are just doing awesome. Um, Mentor of mine told me a long time ago that every great leader can be led. You know, that's the first step to being a leader is having the ability to be led. And you guys lead me every day, so I appreciate you guys. And I'll turn it over. So like the ultimate, 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 ultimate person was Dr. Dom. Somebody's talking to zero off right now, but it was saying like he's the ultimate one because we just shared his video like crazy. Watch this, watch this, watch this, watch this, watch this. So him and Angela came up and like, I mean, it's weird, right? He's just a dude. He's just a dude. Like he drove himself over here. He's going to home. He's as sharp in the same way I do. He's a dude. 
He hasn't heard any of it yet. It's just the dude! So like when Brian's like calls on when they're standing over there, and I'm sitting here, I'm like, dude, he get ready to come to the stage. I'm still on the stage. We're about to be on the same stage. Don't we come up just super fast, pretty please? This is super weird and hilarious. Would you please come up? <laughs> that are, they're going to pour in to, I mean, even when this ends in a second, we're almost done, and into tomorrow, just dig into it. Leave your cautious optimism, your skepticism, whatever it is, just sort of leave it in the hotel room when you come back, and just come in sort of open and go, I'm here to learn, dude, teach me something. I keep calling you dude. <laughs> because it's an unbelievable, I can't wait to see that photo. It's an unbelievable, it's unbelievable what will happen if you just say yes. And there's a lot of really neat, better stories. And it was like, so cool to hear people share. You never know what they're going to share. So, um, anyways. Did anybody else get super excited about the guys up here? So right now, who, do you, who have you thought of that you wish was either in this room right now and heard that? or wishes would be there tomorrow to hear what's going to be said. I mean, I'm, I'm assuming some of you are surprised on the topics that are going to be covered and the depth that are going to be covered on, right? So it's a powerful conversation. So, hey, pick up the phone, let people know that we're here and we're going to be here tomorrow. And what's that? I mean, tomorrow is going to be an unbelievable, wonderful event. We're going to be in the same room. How many of you are coming back tomorrow? Awesome. Anybody wasn't going to come, and now they are. Thank you very much. Brian, he's wearing an Indian shirt. Yeah. Who do you all play next? Kentucky. Who? Kentucky. Who's going to win? Indiana. 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 <laughs> <laughs> you hear the banjo? That's cool. Well, thank you. So he came tonight, and as a result of tonight, he's going to stay tomorrow. So for those of you that can, come tomorrow. Come early. We'll be... Get set up. The we're gonna start at nine thirty. That's what the thing says, right? Nine thirty. We're gonna start at nine thirty. We'll have some registration set up. Um, there's a bunch of folks who are just coming into town tonight, flying in, driving in in the morning, and it's gonna be awesome. I do want to tell you one thing. We're gonna do. Uh, we're not gonna do like a you know big long lunch break. We're gonna start at nine thirty. Go to I think the end time says three thirty. Three. Three. Three at three. Yeah, we'll be out at six, just kidding. Um, they're gonna park, kick us out of here shortly after three. But bring some snacks, grab something. First of all, drink our product.